everyone, it's Sean Bradshaw from CyberFret.com, and in this lesson I'm going to show you kind of a, a rhythm guitar part, a couple of chords where you're going to be doing some hammer-ons with two fingers at a time. And so uh, I'm going to show you this in the context of that groove that I was just playing. Let's take a look at the chords that are happening. First, let's look at uh, the first chord here is a D minor 7 chord. And what I'm going to be doing is just barring my first finger across my uh, top five strings at the fifth fret. I'm going to put my third finger on the uh, fourth string at the seventh fret and my second finger on the second string at the sixth fret. And if I strum five strings there, I have a D minor 7 chord. And one thing you may want to do is just take this first finger and kind of extend it up a little bit, let it touch that sixth string so it's muted out so that when you're strumming, you don't have to worry about trying to only strum five strings. All right, then what we're gonna do is kind of an embellishment of that D minor seven is just to let go of both of these fingers and then hammer both of them on at the same time. I have a little delay going on here, and that's makes it uh, uh, makes it fun. All right. So now, um, the the key thing is getting those two fingers to come down at the same time. And uh, you know, hammer on is where you've got to slam your fingers down against the fret uh, without re-picking. So we don't want to re-strum once you've got these fingers down. All right, and so a good thing for you to do on this is just kind of practice. You might, you might practice the each finger hammering by itself. All right, um, and then just try to work on making those two fingers hit their strings at the same time. And you can kind of just do what I'm doing. I'm not even playing right now. I'm just kind of moving these fingers down and up trying to focus attention on trying to play or get those fingers to kind of land on the string at the same time. Now there's all kinds of rhythms and strums you can do here and, and uh, I'm not going to get into exactly how to do all the strums I'm doing. You can kind of you know try to listen to a little bit what I'm doing and uh, you know, make up your own thing that you can kind of play with this jam track I've got for you here. Uh, and all kinds of things that you can do with that. And it's all, all good. You can do this over really uh, anytime there's a, a D minor seven chord, all right? And then uh, the next chord I'm going to in my groove does not have a hammer on, but we need it. It's a E minor 7 flat 5 chord. And so uh, for this one, I've just got my first finger on the 7th fret of the 5th string. Third finger is on the 8th fret of the 4th string. Second finger is on the 3rd string at the 7th fret. And then pinky is on the 2nd string at the 8th fret. I'm just strumming the 5th, 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. And I want to kind of mute out the first string and also I'm, I'm muting out the first string by just letting my first finger just lightly touch that to mute it out and then I'm also muting out the sixth string by letting my first finger just very lightly touch that sixth string same way I was doing on this D minor 7 chord and then the third chord that we need is an A7 chord and the good news is you don't really have to learn a new shape it's the same as this D minor 7 chord just shift everything one set of strings towards the ceiling. So my first finger is going to be barring across all six strings here at the fifth fret. And then uh, my third finger will be on the seventh fret of the fifth string. And my second finger will be on the sixth fret of the third string. And again, we can hammer that. Okay, so our, our two Two two-finger hammering chords are the D minor 7 and the A7. So 
have fun with your new two-finger hammer-on cords. Have a good one.